Hey guys, I'm Halfblood and welcome back to another Slayers Unleashed video. Now many of you people are not familiar with this code system and how does this work and you just cannot figure things out so this video is for you. I will help you and guide you through the process of getting new breathing clans etc. So the first thing and the foremost thing is not in the game it is supposed to be done in the browser. Choose any preferred browser you want, so I will choose Opera GX and as you can see I am in web.roblox.com. Here basically this is your home page and then you will see this search bar right here, search for Slayers Unleashed here. Uh, so right here in experiences, search in experiences, uh, Slayers Unleashed, then you will see this little icon right here. You want to click on it and then it will take you to the Slayers Unleashed homepage. Now this is where you can see all the player count and all of this information. So here you can see this uh, uh, little, what, do you, what can you say, under the title you will see, uh, see this link. You want to uh, join this group uh, because it's mandatory to use the codes. So you want to join this group first here. Uh, as you can see, successfully joined the group. Uh, just click once and you will join. That's all you have to do. After that, you can just go ahead and enter the game. Now, what are the codes? Where are the codes? What are the syntax of the codes, right? These are the questions that I'm asked most frequently. So I will put the codes on your screen right now. It's on your screen. OK, now what you want to do is copy it somewhere, screenshot it somewhere, uh, write it down in a notepad, whatever you want to do with it. So now I will put it away now i will assume that you have noted those codes and what you're gonna want to do is go to the chat box right here and you do not want to do this okay you do not want to copy and paste it it won't work this is not how it is supposed to work you need to type in uh, semicolon code and then a space and then the code this is how codes work and as you can see i got 30 spins keep in mind different kinds of codes have different work i will explain it now reward spins or revamped spins basically with the word spins you will get a certain amount of spins which you can use to spin basically anything sub races races uh, breathings bdas etc if you see exp boost that exactly means what it says it's gonna boost the amount of exp you get for doing any task or doing basically anything drop boost increases the amount of drop chance for any boss drop Stat reset codes are made for uh, resetting your stats. Let's say you want to put your stats all into strength or you want a new breathing but you're running out of points, then you can use your stat reset. These are all the basic codes that you should know about. Now let's move on to the next thing. Now we will see how are we actually supposed to get new clans, breathings or basically use the spins. Currently I have 60 spins. So as of now on your bottom left corner, you will see this shop right here and then click on it. Go ahead to your spin menu and then you will see in your spin menu. This is a very cool UI. I really love it. And here you can basically see that we have uh, every kind of spin that you can do. Demon art, Slayer Mark, Nichiren Roll, Sub Races, Breathing, Clan, Race basically everything it's right here so i want a new let's say slayer mark i can use a new slayer mark so uh, i will go ahead and see i have 65 spins so i'll go ahead and click on spin and then i will just wait it out you can either skip this uh, if you want to uh, but let's see how the animation looks like looks pretty cool and i got kind roji this is exactly what i wanted i am going for love breathing now because i just want love breathing as if uh, you know, it's it's a good breathing. So currently, as you can see, uh, in my race, uh, in my clan, sorry, um, I have, uh, well, I have Agatsuma. I can change it and get a new uh, one. Let's see if we can get Kanroji. So I will skip this part and I will get to where, um, where I get Kanroji. Okay, so I got Kanroji right here. It's three person clan and I got it. I don't know how, but hey, it's good. I have Kanroji clan. Now let's get the love breathing. Now guys, we have love breathing as well. It's a four person breathing, but we have it now. Uh, so let's go ahead and quickly uh, close this. Uh, for this, you'll have to click again on uh, spin menu that will close this. And now we have love breathing. Let me show you the love breathing. 
Love Breathing only has three moves, which kinda sucks, but they are kind of uh, overpowered. The first move being First Love, um, I mean, it's taken from the manga, so it is supposed to be named like that. And if we do it, it's kind of like the Mist Breathing, if you remember, but the VFX is changed. Um, it is definitely good, uh, if you ask me. And this is a long range breathing, which is Love Shower, and it looks exactly like Love Shower. Uh, this one is Passion Grasp. It increases my HP. It heals me, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong, and gives me a bit of uh, damage reduction, uh, uh, incoming damage reduction, which is also good. And look how beautiful it is. Alright guys, we have come to an end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this video was helpful, drop a sub. And uh, hopefully you guys have learned everything you needed to know. But let's say you have still have any questions or maybe you don't understand something. Let me know in the comment section. I will be answering them gladly. No problem. There is no such thing as a bad question. Always ask your doubts in the comment section. I'm glad to help. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.